Let's take a look at using the Advanced Windows Firewall Interface. This time on Pegasus, I'm going to go to Administrative Tools and Windows Firewall with Advanced Security. I'm going to select Inbound Rules. I'm going to create a new rule. And I'm going to go with the Custom Rule here. Select Next. I'm going to select All Programs. Next, Protocol Type. I'm going to select the ICMP version 4. And I'm going to click Next. And which local IP addresses does this role match? I'm going to say any and any. Um, in this case, for source and destination. And I'm going to allow connectivity. And I'm going to do it for all networks, public, private, and domain. And I'm just going to call this ping. And well, all right, ICMP. I guess there should be more descriptive than that, huh? And for the description, we'll do the same thing. Not sure why, it's kind of redundant, but hey. Okay, so that rule has been applied to the Galactica. And here, I'm going to go here, Administrative Tools, Windows Firewall and Advanced Security. Come on, come on. Hard drive is thrashing right now. Okay, inbound rules and a new rule. I want a new rule. I'm going to let ICMP through. I'm going to select custom. And if you guys, uh, oh, 80s, you know, Hugh Lewis in the news. Okay, never mind, I'll quit. Anyway, I'm going to select uh, all programs. And I'm going to go ICMP version 4. And next. And any IP, any IP source and destination, allow the connection, all networks. And again, I'm going to call it ping. And the more descriptive ICMP version 4. And I'm going to click Finish. And now it's all set. Our rules in place. And let's test it out. And so we're going to go ping. And 109-207-1316. So we're on Galactica, and we are pinging Pegasus. Woohoo! This is a Pegasus. And we're back on the Pegasus, and now let's look at configuring a connection rule. So I'm going to go Administrative Tools, Windows Firewall with Advanced Security. I'm going to go to Connection Security Rules. I'm going to select a new rule. And I'm going to do an isolation rule this time. I'm going to click Next. And I want to select Require Authentication for Inbound and Outbound Connections. I'm going to click Next. And I'm going to do a, an Advanced and click Customize. And I'm going to do add. And again, you probably would not normally want to use a pre-shared key. It's not the most secure method of authentication. But for now, since we don't have certificate services set up yet, let's do that. So I am a, we'll make it I am a Cylon. We'll be short this time. And then we'll say OK. And with that pre-shared key, I'm going to also click on OK. And I'm going to click on Next. And I'm going to go with the defaults, domain, private, and public. And we're going to call this the silent infiltration rule. Um, allow silence um, secure access to Pegasus. Okay. The silent infiltration rule it allows them secure access and to build a security association with the Pegasus in this case. So I need to configure a matching connection security rule on the Galactica so they can communicate. So the silence can infiltrate. Mwahaha. Infiltrating the Galactica. So I'm on the Galactica. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to Administrative Tools and Windows Firewall with Advanced Security. And I'm going to select Connection Security Rules. And I'm going to select New Rule. And I want to go with an isolation rule. And I'm going to select uh, require authentication for inbound and outbound connections. And this time I want to check advanced and customize. <coughs> excuse me. And add. And I'm going to configure a pre-shared key. And remember it was I am a silent was our pre-shared key. I'm going to click on OK and OK and next. And this we're going to say um communications with Pegasus. 
and we'll just put silence here in description. Uh, just trying to have a little fun here, but yeah, just remember they both need to be applied and they both need to have the exact same means of authentication. And with those settings in place, with the settings configured, um, let's go and we'll test it with a, we'll generate a little bit of traffic here. And let's see, we are, we are 19 here on the Galactica. So let's see if we can't ping 16. We should not be able to. to zero, or, excuse me, we should be able to. 192.67.13, uh, now that we have the same you know, connection rules applied, the same isolation rules. And there we go. Notice that a little bit of lag there for the, the encryption, the OPSEC encryption and authentication, but um, we got our four echo replies. Now what if I were to unassign that so that they no longer had matching connection security rules. Oh my, what would happen? I'm going to disable the rule here. And if I did that in my Windows firewall, now what? Oh no! No ICMP traffic, no more echo replies. Oh! Request timed out. So you can see that I need matching authentication. I need matching rules when I implement a connection security rule. Let's take a look at monitoring the Windows firewall. Let's take a look at monitoring the uh, Windows 2008 server firewall. So administrative tools and Windows firewall with advanced security. And I'm going to go here under monitoring. I'm going to select security associations. I'm going to look under main mode and quick mode. We'll look at both. But um, if I had not you know, attempted to connect via file share or ping, then I wouldn't have generated this security association yet, but since I did, I've connected securely. And we're both using the same authentication method of pre-shared key, and I'm using AES 128-bit encryption. And Diffie-Hellman, notice there's the quick mode and the main mode, so this just kind of gives you a neat place where you can monitor your security associations and things where you're sending secure traffic back and forth with IPSEC. And again, here's my connection security rule. Of course, I put too many S's on Pegasus, but hey, oh well. Let's look at Windows Firewall command line tools. Next, we're just going to investigate a few command line tools um, on our 2008 server. And imagine, if you will, that this is a core-only inst installation. And for those of you who don't know what a core-only installation is, it's simply an installation of 2008 without all the GUI graphical tools that you're used to. So you ha kind of have to do everything from the command prompt. If you're a Linux aficionado, it's sort of like run level 3 in Red Hat, maybe. Um, however, you, it's not quite the same because you, you're still running the graphical environment. It's, it's still not like the kernel separate from X Windows like in Linux. But anyway, the idea behind a, a server core is that you don't want to waste CPU cycles of memory uh, for things like multimedia and, and just things that you don't need on a server. A server is there to serve, you know, to serve out services. And so, um, it's not there to, you know, multimedia and things like that are for workstations. So kind of get the idea behind it. And if this were a core-only installation, all we, we would only uh, be able to manage it with uh, command line tools. There would be no graphical tools. So let's do that. So we're at a command prompt. I'm going to recurse out with cd uh, dot dot. And I'm going to clear the terminal and I'm going to list the contents of my directory here. Notice there's our old share banana. I'm going to want to make a new share, so I'm going to type MD and I'm going to make this one mango. I'll call it mango. Next, I'm going to use the net uh, share command and I'm going to say, I'm just going to call it the same thing mango and I need to give it the uh, absolute path. So C mango. And then next, I need to specify a permission. So I'm going to grant permission to everyone and I'm going to give everyone a read permission there. Okay, and so Mango tells me Mango was shared successfully. And now I'm going to hop on over um, hop on over to Pegasus. We made this on Galactica. Let's see if we can browse it. Jumping to the Pegasus. So now I'm on the Pegasus. And let's go on over and load up the Galactica. And there we have Banana. And there we have Mango. And if we add a few more fruits in, we can have a fruit smoothie. Woohoo! Returning to the Galactica. Okay, and I am back on the uh, I'm back on the Galactica at this point. 
and I'm going to go ahead and, and just a, one more command here just to show you how you could modify things. I'm going to use the that show command and I'm going to access the firewall and I'm going to set service and file and print. Okay, and that would actually you know, give me an okay there. So now I've just managed the firewall and allowed that activity through the firewall. Just an example of some of the command line tools available and if you had a core only installation.